Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks for Geeks problem of the day and today's problem is minimus minimize the heights to and it is a medium level problem. So the problem uh, is really uh, not very difficult I would say but there is one thing within the problem which is not very clear that is why you can see the accuracy is also very less and uh, let us see how we can solve this problem. So it says that we have been given an array of uh, heights right and the size of the array is n and we have also been given a positive integer k. Now we must perform the following operation exactly once right. So what is this operation? We can either increase the height of the tower by k or decrease the height of the tower by k. Now we have to find a minimum possible difference between the height of the maximum and the smallest tower right. Now they have mentioned that if we can find a slight modification of this problem here that it is compulsory to increase or decrease the height of by k for each tower that is also mentioned in the previous question but after the operation the resultant array should not contain any negative integers. So you see that they have they say that this is a slight modification of the problem here and uh, but this particular line that they have given to us is also the part of the current problem statement. I got a lot of wrong submissions because of it because I did not consider this particular statement that they have written at the end right. So uh, let me just explain you how the problem works. Let us say if we have 1, 5, 8 and 10 right. So we can either do plus k or we can either do minus k to each of those elements and it is, to, it is compulsory to do the operation exactly once on each of the elements right. So uh, let us say you have some elements here. Let us say you have some elements here. So I am dividing let us say these elements into two groups. These elements are all smaller that means the whole array was sorted and I have divided it at some point. So now these elements will try to move to the right and these elements will try to move to the left. Right. So what happens I want to find such an optimal inflection point or this dividing point. This is my whole question. So what happens is let us say I have this array this is already sorted. Right. So if I can do either plus k or minus k. I would always want to bring the elements to a common point right to bring them together. So what is the way to bring them together? I would want to move all smaller elements to the right by adding k plus k and I would want to move all the bigger elements to the left by subtracting k right. This is what I have but currently I do not know any suitable inflection point or the point at which I decide that all the elements should gather here. So my whole problem is finding about this inflection point. And this uh, like point can be easily found. You see that we have discussed all the elements to the left of this particular point will get incremented by k and all the elements with the right of this point will get decremented by k. Right. Now one more thing that let us say I have this particular case. So what is uh, what is one answer that I can always have that answer is going to be 9 in this case that is 10 minus 1. How is it going to be 9 because if I add plus k plus k to every of those digits that means I can always form this particular answer 10 minus 9 because effectively it is going to be 10 plus plus k minus 9 minus k right. So these k are going to get cancelled and I will have so this is not actually 10 minus 9 it is 10 minus 1 right. So the last element minus the first element. So again I will have 1 here and the final output will be 9. So you see that uh, it is always possible to conserve the answer for the initial array as well. So uh, we were talking about discussing this particular inflection point. How can I find it? Let us say I am at a current element right and I have decided that this element is going to go to the left or this element is going to decrease right. Since this is the smallest element among all the elements which is going to decrease and all the elements that, are, that come after it are going to be greater than it right. So either this can be the minimum or array of 0 can be the minimum right. Let me just uh, uh, talk this part about I will talk about this part once more. So what happens is let us say I have incremented array of k so this has now become this particular thing. Now I am deciding that I want to decrease this particular element. So it is going to be the minimum among all the elements that are present after it right. So the final minimum element of the array is going to be something like this 
right what happened is this is the first element plus k because we wanted to increment it and bring it closer to the rest of the elements I am decrementing the current element. Now this current element when I decrement from it, it might become smaller than this particular element and this is going to be the new minimum of the whole array. Right. So this is how we can calculate the minimum. So the minimum is going to be this. Similarly, the element just before it is going to get increased. We have to do plus k here. And this is going to be the maximum elements among all the elements which are going to get increased. Now this element might surpass the last element which is array of n minus 1 minus k and array of i minus 1 which is the previous element plus k. Right. So these are the two possible candidates for the new maximum. Right. So what happens is when I increment this value by k it can surpass the last element in value and that is why I have to take the maximum of these. Similarly, when I decrement this element by k, it can surpass the minimum value and hence I have to take the minimum of these two values. So this is how you can calculate the minimum and the maximum points for each inflection point and then calculate the answer respectively. So now we don't have to worry about finding the inflection point, we can just go through all the points and take the best answer among them. Right. So this is how I have solved this problem. What I have essentially done is I have initially sorted the array and I have uh, initialized my answer with array of n minus 1 minus array of 0 because I know that this is one value that I can always form by adding k to all of the elements. Right. Now you see what I have done something here and that is if array of i is less than k I am just continuing I am not considering it as a valid inflection point. Why? So I mean I have told you this part that after the operation the resultant array should not contain any negative integers. They have mentioned it that this is this can be a slight modification but this is also included in the test case that is why I was getting a couple of wrong answers because I didn't include this particular line right. So you have to be very careful that if it is less than k you can just continue because now if you do array of i minus k it is going to become less than 0 right. Now I have to find my minimum value and this will be array of 0 plus k comma array of i minus k right. Because we are we were incrementing the first value and we are decrementing the current value. Similarly, the maximum element will be the maximum of array of n minus i, n minus 1 minus k, comma array of i minus 1 plus k. Right. So this is how you can find the minimum and maximum and then take the uh, minimum of answer is equal to answer minimum of answer comma max minus min. So this is the new difference between the maximum and the minimum tower. And then at the end we can just return the answer. So let me just quickly submit this and show you that this particular code works and the solution is absolutely correct. So you see it passes all the test cases and the solution is correct and I hope that you guys were able to understand the solution. If you guys did then consider dropping a like on this video and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this video really really helps the YouTube algorithm to understand that this video is actually help you for you and keep be able to reach much more people like you who want to keep solving new problems. So that is it for today. Till the next video drops, keep coding, stay safe, bye bye.